I called the producer at SNL and I was like, hey, do you have Pete's number? And they were like, yeah. And I text him. I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, heard about this BDE, need to get out there. Like I need to just like jumpstart my, I was just basically DTF. The world watched in shock and awe as Kim Kardashian, infamous for her endless drama and controversies, made her whirlwind romance with comedian Pete Davidson official on both social media and the red carpet. But whispers soon spread of a dark underbelly to the relationship. Rumors swirled that Kim had manipulated Pete, and not just in a harmless way. Sources whispered of abuse. As the whispers grew louder, Pete himself threw shade at his ex, fueling the flames of speculation. He seemed eager to expose Kim for what she had done and refused to let her embarrassing treatment of him go unpunished. But how had they even met in the first place? Kim revealed that they had first crossed paths when she and her now ex-husband Kanye West were still together at a dinner celebrating Kid Cudi's birthday. It wasn't until later when Kim hosted SNL that she had the chance to properly meet Pete and things quickly took a steamy turn during an Aladdin and Princess Jasmine skit. As they got to know each other better, it seemed like a match made in heaven. But now, with allegations of manipulation and abuse hanging in the air, the public can't help but wonder, what really went on behind closed doors? Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson's romance was a public affair from the start. The couple was spotted together on multiple occasions, and they even tried to make long distance work despite their hectic schedules. Pete seemed to fit right in in Kim's famous family, and she hinted at the possibility of starting a family with him. However, after nine months of dating, the couple called it quits. While the official reason cited was the difficulties of long distance, rumors swirled that there may have been something more sinister at play. Was there more to their split than just conflicting schedules? Many wondered if there was something shady happening behind the scenes that led to their breakup. Despite the speculation, the true nature of their split remains a mystery. Kim's sisters were thrilled about her relationship with Pete, and Courtney even claimed that Kim was happier with him in her life. However, many skeptics predicted that their romance would be short-lived, despite the public displays of affection. At first, Pete was proud to show off his relationship with Kim, but things quickly took a turn for the worse. Rumors began to circulate that Kim had mistreated him during their time together, casting a shadow on their previously happy relationship. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest news about Kim and her family, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you informed about the latest developments in their lives, including the fallout from Kim's divorce from Kanye. Despite the long history between Kim and Kanye, their marriage ultimately fell apart after seven years. It's a sad turn of events for those who believe that they would last forever. As their family struggles to keep up with the changing dynamics of their lives, it remains to be seen what the future holds for Kim and her loved ones. People couldn't believe it when Kim chose Pete over Kanye. After all, it was Kanye who had been instrumental in giving them the lavish lifestyle they enjoyed. But sometimes, unexpected things happen, and even Kanye was taken aback by Kim's decision. Despite Kanye's efforts to win her back, showering her with sweet gestures like a truckload of roses on Valentine's Day, Kim seemed resolute in moving on. And move on she did, with Pete by her side. But was their relationship genuine, or just a publicity stunt? The rumors were swirling, and many speculated that it was all for show. Nevertheless, Pete tried his best to fit into the Kardashian family, impressing them with his charm and humor. Yet, the public couldn't help but raise their eyebrows at the unlikely couple. They were from different worlds and had a significant age difference. Plus, Kim's unresolved issues with Pete's ex-girlfriend added another layer of drama to their relationship. Despite all this, Kim and Pete soldiered on, building a life together and sharing glimpses of their happiness on social media. But as we now know, their love story was not meant to last, and they eventually parted ways after nine months of dating. It was a heartbreaking end to a relationship that once seemed so promising. While the Kardashian sisters have been cheering for Kim and Pete, rumors have been circulating that their relationship might be more of a PR stunt than the real deal. But that's not even the juiciest gossip. Apparently, Pete has been badmouthing Kim behind her back, claiming that she hasn't done anything to boost his career. Ouch! To make matters worse, Pete is now complaining that he's fallen under the Kardashian curse. Yes, you heard that right. This supposed curse has been a hot topic among fans of the Kardashian family for years, with many of their exes reportedly experiencing a series of unfortunate events after breaking up with these ladies. And according to insiders, Pete is feeling the full force of the curse since he split from Kim. 
But here's the kicker. Despite his colorful dating history that includes relationships with Ariana Grande and Kate Beckinsale, Pete is supposedly telling everyone that Kim was his worst girlfriend ever. Yikes! Looks like things aren't all rainbows and butterflies in the world of Kim and Pete. Everyone knew that Pete had a reputation for dating some of the most iconic women in the industry. But Kim? It was a match that nobody saw coming. As expected, the rumors started flying as soon as they were seen together. Was it just a publicity stunt? Or was there something more there? As their relationship progressed, it seemed like Pete was trying his best to fit into the Kardashian family. He even claimed that Kim was the love of his life. But as time went on, whispers started circulating that Pete was regretting ever getting involved with her. Sources close to him revealed that he was telling people that Kim was his worst girlfriend ever. And then, just like that, it was over. The official reason was that they couldn't handle the long distance, but many believed that there was more to the story. Some even suggested that it was Pete who had ended things because he no longer wanted to be associated with the Kardashian-Jenner family. The Kardashian-Jenner family is known for their obsession with their public image, and it's ironic that their reputation has been tarnished even before they became famous. They go to great lengths to avoid embarrassment and maintain their image, which is why they did damage control when news broke that it was Kim who was dumped by Pete Davidson. It's ridiculous that they make such a big deal out of being dumped. Who do they think they are? It's no wonder it took Pete a while to realize the trouble he was getting into by getting involved with Kim. Just a few weeks after the news broke, Kanye West, Kim's ex-husband, began attacking Pete, using foul and abusive language towards him, and even throwing shade at him in his music. This led Pete increasing his security, fearing for his safety. Kanye is known for being irrational, impulsive, and disrespectful towards other celebrities, even on issues that he has no business commenting on. It's possible that the Kardashian-Jenners have picked up some of these traits from him. Kanye's constant harassment of Pete may have been the main reason why he broke it off with Kim. Pete couldn't stand the drama anymore. Thank you for joining me today and hearing my thoughts on the drama surrounding Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson's short-lived romance. As always, feel free to share your own thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.